Tonight, we are one step closer to jury deliberations in the criminal trial of former President Trump. Today, both sides presented closing arguments trying to appeal their case to the jury. And at one point, the judge issued a warning to Trump's defense lawyer. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor is live outside the courtroom with the details for us. Alice. Closing arguments are actually still going on right now. They plan to work late today to try and finish them. At one point, as you mentioned, Judge Juan Marchand actually scolded defense attorney Todd Blanche for a comment he made to the jury during the defense's closing. Defense attorney Todd Blanche told jurors President Trump is innocent. He did not commit any crimes, and the district attorney has not met their burden of proof, period. He repeatedly took aim at prosecutor star witness, Trump's former personal attorney Michael Cohen, calling him a man with an axe to grind, the gloat, greatest liar of all time. Blanche maintained Cohen was Trump's personal attorney in 2017 and was paid as such. Cohen previously testified he did minimal work in 2017 and did not build for it, that the monthly payments listed as legal services were really reimbursement for the $130,000 hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels to keep her quiet before the 2016 election about an alleged affair with Trump. Blanche told jurors, you saw him on the stand. Do you even think after being mad he was stiffed on his bonus that he would want to work for free? He implored jurors, you cannot send someone to prison based upon the words of Michael Cohen, which earned him a scolding from the judge after prosecutors argued jurors are not supposed to consider punishment when determining a verdict. Judge Juan Marchand said, I think that statement was outrageous, Mr. Blanche. As a result, Judge Marchand told the jury that comment was improper and you must disregard it. Assistant District Attorney Joshua Steinglass told the jury, of course Cohen was mad. He was the only one that's paid the price for his role in this conspiracy, that he did Trump's bidding for years. Anyone in Cohen's shoes would want the defendant to be held accountable, further telling them, we didn't pick him up at the witness store, that the defendant chose Michael Cohen to be his fixer because he was willing to lie and cheat on the defendant's behalf. Of the August 2015 Trump Tower meeting between Trump, Cohen, and AMI CEO David Pecker, where Pecker testified he volunteered to be the eyes and ears of the campaign to bury negative stories about Trump. Steinglass told them the entire purpose was to defraud the voters, to pull the wool over their eyes in a coordinated fashion. Some of Trump's children were in the courtroom to support him today. Trump has used his time in court to campaign in front of the cameras. Meantime, today, actor Robert De Niro joined a Biden campaign press conference outside the courthouse. This is the time to stop him by voting him out once and for all. We don't want to wake up after the election saying, what, again? And once closing arguments are done again, they're working late today to try and finish them. Then the judge will charge the jury and they will begin their deliberations. That is expected tomorrow. We are live outside of Manhattan Criminal Court. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Alice, thank you. And in Trump's classified documents case in Florida, a judge has denied a request for a gag order. The special counsel, Jack Smith, made that request after Trump repeatedly criticized the FBI, falsely claiming they have a policy of using deadly force and used it during the search of Mar-a-Lago. The judge who denied the gag order said prosecutors did not give enough time to the defense before making the request. Trump is charged with taking classified documents from the White House after leaving office and resisting the government's attempts to get them back. He has pleaded not guilty. We have continuing coverage of Trump's criminal trial here in the city. On our website, you can find live updates as court is in session and a timeline of the case. It's all at CBSNewYork.com.